All right, so this is Robert. Hello. Robert is going to have a little chat with us about what goes into a mission concept review, but also kind of what a mission concept review actually is. Um, but before we get into any of that, Robert, do you want to tell us just a little bit about what you do? All right, so I'm an engineer here at SSDC. I did mechatronics engineering at uh, uni. After my degree, I did a PhD with a desert fireball network, and I helped design the, the fireball cameras that are out now monitoring the night sky looking for space rocks. Um, and then after that, I started working at Curtin, and I teach our undergraduates how to design spacecraft and space missions uh, at uni. The reason I'm asking you about mission concept reviews is because, as you said, you teach a unit all about space design hmm. um, and your big kind of assignment for that is a mission concept for you. No, that's just one part of well, the assignment. So their, <laughs> their big assignment is to do a space mission on paper. Um, and the first thing they do in that is the, in the, is the mission concept review. Okay, so do you want to tell us what a mission concept review actually is? Yeah, so uh, it's part of the systems engineering process that we use for space missions. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look up like the NASA terminology and stuff, you'll see they refer to like phase A, phase B. And these are just different parts of a space mission, all the way from sitting around your office thinking, oh, I wonder if we could find out this, or oh, I wonder if we could deliver this sort of commercial service from space, all the way from there, all the way to disposing of the space system at the end of the mission. And so the mission concept review is part of the phase A studies. It's actually not the end of it, but it's, it's probably the most important thing in phase A. And what you're aiming to do there is basically communicate the idea of the mission. So, so, so that when you go talk about how you would build something to accomplish the mission, you have a clear, clear idea of what the mission is. And so you basically present that concept or that idea to a review panel and then they can give feedback and, and hopefully you've got fairly organized and most of their feedback is, yeah, it sounds good. But they also might have some, some suggestions for how you should change the mission or maybe you could investigate this as well. Or, but it should really be focused on the ideas. So at that stage, you shouldn't really be worried about how you're going to do it. It should all be about what you want to do. So what's the point of doing a mission concept review at all? Like, why would we not just uh, pick our idea and start building? Well, because how do you know if you have a good idea? And I guess one of the traps of space stuff is a lot of people want to do space because space is cool, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, it's a tool to accomplish a mission or a job mm -hmm. and you really need to keep focus on the mission or the job so the most important the most important thing is if you're developing the system you really need to know what the users need the system for right. so you can call them the key stakeholder or you can call them the customers um, but but you as the design team you really need to check in with your customers and make sure that whatever you're building is going to do what they need. For Binar X, I mean, you're lucky because you get to play the customer and the design team, um, which is cool. So, so it's a little bit different for you, but normally the design team's job is to, to serve the stakeholder. And we're a bit like that too, because we have scientists and engineers. So our key stakeholders are the planetary scientists for most of our missions, and they're mm -hmm. right here in-house, and we've got a really good relationship with them. Try and put your goal in the form of a question. Because so, okay. then that helps you kind of make it a research project. And, and we can do other sorts of missions, but uh, I think most of the ones you're going to be interested in are probably research type missions. When does a mission concept review actually happen? Because you mentioned it's not quite at the start. Uh, it's not yeah. the very first mm. thing, but it's also not like the last thing you do in your brainstorming. I'd, or I'd say it's the first phase. formal thing you do. So it's the first right. thing you do where there'll be a meeting and you'll invite probably external people to the meeting and mm -hmm. then they'll look at your idea. So my undergrads did their mission concept review. They prepared that in like two weeks. So you know, it doesn't, doesn't have to take ages. Yeah, so what's, what does their assignment look like? Mm. So they pick a mission um, and then in the mission concept review, they need to identify who the key stakeholders are. Mm -hmm. So if it's a planetary science mission, it's gonna be planetary scientists. Mm -hmm. And if it's like a communication service, it's probably either the customers that are going to use it or the company that's going to sell the service. And that's probably the most important thing to get out of the mission concept review is what are key stakeholders' expectations. Mm. I made them do the, the mission concept um, so or, or, or the high-level architecture. So, so uh, you could form a question. It could be, uh, can we uh, sustain sea monkeys using algae in space. If that's the objective, to find out the answer to that question, 
you'd sit down and you'd think, okay, well, we could send them on a massive rocket around the moon and back and then land them down on Earth and then we could get our answer that way. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we can put them on a little CubeSat and send them up to low Earth orbit for a similar amount of time and get the answer that way. Um, when you look at the second concept, you've probably still got all the things you need to right. accomplish the goal, but it would just be a lot easier. Right? It's a lot, lot cheaper, a lot faster. You don't have to build a big rocket that's going to go to the moon. You just have to build a CubeSat that you can deploy in low Earth orbit. Right. So the other thing you need to identify is what are the key outcomes going to be. So if you think about the world now and then the world after your mission, what changed? So you delivered some data about the right. sea monkeys and how much oxygen they use from the algae, but um, we don't want to think about what sort of filter we're going to need to keep the sea monkeys sure. alive. Because because what we want to do is we really want to decide, is the mission worth doing before we figure out how to do it? We've kind of talked a little bit about what is in a mission concept review. What isn't in a mission concept review? Mm. Implementation detail. What's an implementation well, detail? Well, <laughs> basically, if it's not about the ideas, don't include it. So if, if you're like, oh, I really want to like build this radio and put it in the satellite, mm, not the place for it in the mission concept review. You know? okay. So the mission concept review should all be about what you're trying to accomplish and not about how you're going to accomplish it. Yeah, you okay. can kind of leave that till later. Now, because we are systems engineers, we tend to start thinking about these sorts of things, but you kind of have to minimize it at the mission concept review. What kind of stuff do you need to know before your mission concept review and what can wait till later? You want to understand the problem that you're looking at. So you're probably going to need to do a bit of background research. That's probably mm -hmm. where you want to start. And then also, if you were going to propose a mission to measure the magnetic field of the Earth, yep. a really good use of your time would be to study all the missions that have done that, tried to do that before. Okay. So, so you really, you kind of want to position your question in the kind of overall context. Okay. So, yeah. If you were going to give the students in BNRX mm. some advice about their, like, a, like one nugget of Robert wisdom for their mm. mission concept review that they're going to, going to be preparing a presentation for, what would that be? nugget of advice one maybe. one one nugget you have to distill advice. it down to one ad advice nugget hmm. at the end of the day you need to deliver value for the stakeholder yeah and that value doesn't have to be in terms of money it can be terms of like inspiration or or, New or knowledge or training or... like we could train a whole bunch of yeah. high school students how to build <laughs> spacecraft but um <laughs> you need to keep in mind what people are trying to get out of the the activity or the mission right. and, and yeah think just think about that and make sure it, it's worth it because people are going to invest a lot of time and emotional energy into this stuff so you want to make sure it's a good idea and that's the whole purpose of the mission concept review basically is this a good mission idea yeah because because you're always competing against all the other mission ideas that people could do with their time and money as well and, and think about it from your perspective right if you've got a really great idea you don't want us to just pick like the first three ideas that we write on the board right you want you want the good ideas to kind of come to the top. Exactly. And, and so there's going to be tons of work to do. So, <laughs> so there's not going to be any shortage of ideas to work on, but, but you're not going to be able to do them all. So it's, it's worth putting in the time to try and come up with a, a really good one. Um, and you don't need to worry about what it's going to look like or anything like that. You don't need to start drawing. You just need to think about what's worth doing a mission to find out or deliver. Thanks, Robert. No um, I hope this was helpful. Um, it's... It's a little bit of kind of a nebulous concept. It's not necessarily mm. something that you've come across before because it, it is just sort of like, uh, pitch mm. an idea, but don't tell us too much about it. So it's it's a little bit of a, a mm. tricky concept to wrap your head around. I hope having a little bit of a chat about it helped. This has been Robert. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for coming on the show, Robert. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe.